Stanley Sideserve here at Sideserve Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a cake that looks just like an onion. An onion cake. Whoever made an onion cake. My favorite part about this cake is when you cut into it, the layers of the cake actually crunch so similar to an onion. You see all the layers and they start to fall apart and break apart, and we cut the onion cake at the end of the video, so you should definitely give it a watch. All right, let's start with wafer paper. Uh, one side is going to have a bit of a texture and the other side is gonna be nice and smooth. So we wanna wet the wafer paper with some very watered down food color. This is gel food color and water and that's it. Uh, you don't want a lot of pigment on this and you wanna place the wafer paper down textured side right onto the onion. It does want to kind of gather at certain areas, but really you can just take the watered down pigment and just smooth out any of those wrinkles and then cut off the excess skirt. Wafer paper is edible paper. It's going to have a very, very mild vanilla flavor to it, but it really doesn't affect flavor of the cake at all. The colors I use for this are brown, orange, yellow, red, and green. The reason I use a little bit of green is because green is the complementary color to red. And this color we're going for for the onion is a reddish orange. So by adding the green, it's going to kind of deepen the color. It's going to muddy the color. It's going to make it less vibrant, which will match the color of the onion much better if you add a little bit of it at a time. So that's why we have green, even though the color is definitely more of an orangish red. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on another onion. I'm placing wafer paper right on top. I'm trying to match that orangish red color. The reason you want the food color to be nice and watered down is so that when the wafer paper dries, it will make it look translucent. And that is going to be super similar to a realistic onion skin. So once you set the onions aside to dry for about 24 hours, you want to go ahead and peel the wafer paper off the onion. That's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, it is not the easiest thing in the world. Like I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna peel right off. So what I did was I went around a little bit at a time. You can see it started to crack, which actually is very similar to the texture of an onion. So I did not mind the cracking, um, but I'm going around kind of peeling it off the onion slowly. Uh, it took a while. The, let's uh, fast forward this a bit because <laughs> it's a little boring. But a little bit at a time, I'm using a paintbrush to peel away that wafer paper layer. I'm also using an X-Acto knife to try to chip away at the wafer paper as well. So eventually, after quite a bit of work, I'd say about five minutes of peeling this away, it did pop off and it has a little bit of a translucent effect, which is exactly what I wanted because it looks just like an onion. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. And you can see my shock here that it came right off. So <laughs> it took just a few seconds to get the other wafer paper layer off. <laughs> so it kind of depends. Uh, you know, you might luck out or it might take you a little bit of time or it might take you a while. So you can see when I place the two together that it makes an onion. So that is edible wafer paper on the right, my onion on the left, and they look pretty similar. A little bit of the onion uh, kind of came off, the onion skin came off, and really it was very easy to take off. I just took an X-Acto and peeled it off. Yay, victory! Woo! The next step is to cut out a piece of parchment that you can use as a template. This looks a lot like the wafer paper, but it is not. It, it is definitely not edible, it is parchment paper, and I want it to fit into the shell that I just made. Now place that parchment circle right on your cake and cut around it. Then add a layer of icing, buttercream, ganache in this case, and put your second layer on top of the first. And then I place the onion right next to the cake and I want the height of the cake to be the same as my onion. So I just trim away a little bit at a time because you can always take off more, it is hard to put it back. 
And then I'm gonna round out the edges of the top with a serrated knife. You can see here, I still need to do the bottom. So now I'm just gonna round out the edges of the bottom. I crumb coated the whole thing in ganache, put it in the refrigerator to harden, and then I covered it in chocolate buttercream. I use chocolate buttercream because it's much lighter in color than the ganache, and since our onion skin is translucent, I wanted a lighter layer underneath. Uh, I noticed that the dark brown of the chocolate ganache was too dark, and you could see through it. So a nice light layer of chocolate buttercream is the perfect shade of brown. Just like I added wafer paper to the onions, I am going to add a layer of wafer paper right onto the cake. And that's just because I wanna make sure that no buttercream shows through. I'm adding brown lines, some striations. You can see with a very rough bristled brush. It's a very hard bristled brush and I just barely touch the cake. You can see that the shell is going to fit on it. I am very happy. <laughs> I'm going to work on the ends of the onion. I used just a little dot of modeling chocolate for this and I'm going to blend it right into the onion and I have my real onion off to the side that I'm looking at as a reference. And I'm just using, you know, a hard bristled brush to add texture. Then I'm gonna add a bunch of lines throughout that kind of go towards the center. Really, I am just trying really hard to mimic what I see in the real onion. I don't focus too much on every single little mark I make. I want it to feel very random because that makes it more realistic. Now it's time to place the wafer paper edible onion skin onto the cake. You wanna make sure at this point that your cake is at room temperature. If the cake isn't at room temperature, your wafer paper is going to take the moisture of that cold cake and just shrivel up. You can see mine shriveled up just a little bit. I should have let it sit out longer. <laughs> the edges of the wafer paper just to add some texture. I had some leftover extra wafer paper bits so I went in and added details. To paint it, I just took a watered down gel food color in a dark brown and I wanted to let the color seep into all the little cracks and then I went over it with a white powdered food color. I really liked the effect the powdered food color had. It looked super similar to the onion. Then I want to do the other side of the onion. This one's a little bit more simple. It's just kind of like a pointy bit and then I blend that into the cake. and then place the wafer paper onion skin over top. My cake onion is looking a little bit shriveled, a little disheveled. I want it to look rough and a little bit beat up because I think it does make it look more realistic. I don't want a perfect onion, but I do want it a little cleaner than what it is. Uh, so I wanted to add one more layer over the entire cake that was a little bit more clean. 
So I made more wafer paper layers and I put it over top. It kind of gets confusing because you can't tell what's an onion skin and what's wafer paper, but these are wafer paper. And then I wanted to fit the pieces of wafer paper onto the onion. Uh, it's a little bit trickier than you think. Kind of pieced them together and eventually I found a way uh, that I thought it looked best. And there you have it. It's your onion cake. All edible, made with vanilla wafer paper, vanilla cake, and chocolate ganache. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give us some suggestions because we want to make more cakes. We can really do anything. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and like this video. An onion? Whoever made an onion cake?